Hello, so I am going to show you how to make pie crust, buttery pie crust. Um, you don't have to buy it from the store. It is so easy to make that it just, there's no reason to buy it. And it's flaky, buttery, and there are defi definitely many layers. And you can use it to make um, um, pie, of course, apple pie, or, you know, um, or savory pies, or empanadas, or things like that. Okay, so we will start with, um, so you will start with four, one and one fourth cup of flour. And I usually like to do it in my, um, in my Cuisinart food processor. It's much easier this way. So you put it in here. Um, and then you would use, um, you know, you put a little, a fourth teaspoon of um, salt, but because I use Salted butter, I'm not going to put salt. You can use unsalted butter, then you need to put salt. And then you, you then you would need to add to that um, a, four, a, third, a, a half cup, sorry, a half cup of frozen butter. This butter, I just took it out from the freezer and then I diced it up in little cubes like this. And so you want it to be frozen because frozen butter won't melt as quickly and then it will create the little, um, you want to, to little bits of butter pieces within your dough so that it can create the flaky layers that you you want in the pie crust. Okay, so after I put it in, I just mix it up a little bit so that the um, the flour will coat the butter. It doesn't matter. This way, I, I just don't want my food processor to be too dirty with the butter. Um, it's easier to clean this way. So, okay, so you mix it up like this and then and then you just start pulsing it and just mix it. So you do it a few times, that's all you need. You don't need a lot. Oops. Um, so you just need to, it to be in fine crumbs like this. I can see little chunks of butter in here. That's what we want. We don't want it super fine. And then you just put it in, dump it out onto a metal bowl or a plastic bowl. Um, so now we're gonna add the water. That's all the ingredients. All the ingredients you need are flour, butter, salt, and water. That's it to make a pie crust. So I'm gonna use my fork and but and for um for water you want maximum amount of water is a fourth of a cup but i'm going to add in one i'm going to add in tablespoon at a time so usually it's four tablespoons but i'm going to add in two first this is very cold water okay so two tablespoons i'm going to do three well two and a half i'm going to go two and a half i'm going to leave i'm going to leave the water on the side and just use the fork to mix it in Mix in my, you you don't want to touch, you want to touch the dough um, you, as little as possible. You don't want it to touch because your hand is warm and you will melt the frozen butter. We want the butter to continue to be in chunks. Okay, so it's still crumbly like this, right? I'm going to add in. The rest so it doesn't look like it's doing anything but it will trust me it will come together very fast so now i'm going to stick my hand in there and knead it knead it until so i i still have one more tablespoon of water that i could add in but i real i realized um from years of making this recipe that I don't need another whole tablespoon of, of water because the, the least amount of water you want, the better. You don't want your pie dough to be too wet. Okay, so I'm going to get one more tablespoon. I'm not going to put this all in at once. I'm going to put half, half of it. As long as your dough comes together, that's all the water that you need. You don't need more. So someday, I don't even need to put in that amount, depending on the day. So 
So I want to do this as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible. I don't want to touch the dough any more than I have to. Okay, see? It's coming together now. Almost there. Okay, so that's all. That's it. So what you have to do is you cannot roll it out yet because um, the dough needs to, the liquid and the butter in the dough needs to um, kind of sit and kind of um, absorb. The flour needs to time to absorb the, um, the liquid. So what you have to do is use around wrap and wrap the dough up and put it in the fridge for at least um, I would say four hours and then you can roll the dough out but this is it this is buttery pie dough that's all you need to do how simple is that